SpaceX's Starship is considered the most powerful rocket ever built so far. But have you ever thought that after Starship, will SpaceX still produce any more powerful rockets? In fact, Musk has long been hinting at a new rocket, Starship 2.0. As Starship's successor, how powerful will this rocket be? And what areas will it be more superior in compared to the current Starship? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Falcon, Dragon, Starlink, Starman. SpaceX has contributed a lot to our spaceflight vernacular, showing just how far the company has come in its first two decades. Elon Musk founded SpaceX on March 14th of 2002 with big dreams of creating reusable rockets, commercial spacecraft, and other advanced technology. Musk has said that few believed it was possible during an era when space agencies still dominated the industry and space hardware was mostly expendable, save for a few examples like NASA's space shuttle and its solid rocket boosters. Now, 20 years later, SpaceX is a force of nature all on its own. The company aims to build out its 2,000 satellite strong Starlink internet constellation to hold perhaps 30,000 spacecraft. It's ramping up an orbital space tourism program and is the sole U.S. provider for crewed missions to the ISS. And, as Musk envisioned, SpaceX is now regularly launching and landing rockets while carrying payloads for a wide range of customers, from private companies to NASA and the United States Space Force. But owning the most powerful rocket that has yet to fly has not stopped Musk from dreaming even bigger. SpaceX is currently developing a rocket that will allow Musk to achieve his biggest dream. The SpaceX CEO has a long-standing vision of establishing a city on the Red Planet. It'd be self-sustaining, home to one million people, and would transform humanity into a multi-planetary species. It's perhaps Musk's most ambitious goal, one that could keep him occupied for the next three decades. That's why, Musk and his team created a next-generation rocket, Starship. Towering nearly 400 feet tall, the rocket is designed to take NASA astronauts to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship, which is being built at a Texas site dubbed Starbase, consists of a giant spaceship on top of a large booster known as Super Heavy. Both can land back on Earth so they can be reused reducing costs. The entire vehicle will be capable of lifting 100 metric tons or 220,000 pounds of cargo and people into space on regular low-cost missions. The volume of usable space within Starship is a whopping 1,000 cubic meters, big enough to fit the entire Eiffel Tower, disassembled of course, and that's got scientists quite excited. Like James Head, a planetary scientist from Brown University said, Starship is like, wow. Much has already been made of Starship's human spaceflight capabilities, but the rocket could also revolutionize what we know about our neighboring planets and moons. Starship would totally change the way that we can do solar system exploration. Planetary science will just explode, says Allie Bramson from Purdue University. If it lives up to the billing, scientists are already talking about sending missions to Neptune and its largest moon in the outer solar system, bringing back huge quantities of space rock from Earth's moon and Mars, and even developing innovative ways to protect Earth from incoming asteroids. Central to many of these ideas is that Starship is designed to be not just large, but cheap to launch. Whereas agencies like NASA and ESA must carefully choose a smattering of missions to fund, with launch costs in the tens or hundreds of millions of dollars, Starship's affordability could open the door to many more. NASA wants to use Starship to land American astronauts on the moon, while the Pentagon will use it to move military cargo worldwide in minutes. Even the U.S. military also has its own concepts for SpaceX rockets. The Air Force in January awarded SpaceX 102 million US dollars to study using the spacecraft as a cargo ship that could deploy resources to various parts of the world in a matter of minutes or point-to-point -point transportation. 
With flights potentially as low as $2 million per launch, Starship has the potential to really change the whole space industry. However, while hinted at in a brief tweet on Twitter, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk says that SpaceX's massive Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicle could eventually be followed by a rocket multiple times larger. According to Musk, a theoretical next next generation SpaceX rocket to potentially follow some years after Starship and Super Heavy could be a full 18 meters wide, which is twice the diameter of its predecessor. Many will recollect that doubling the diameter of a circle quadruples its area. Add in a doubling of height and a theoretical Starship 2.0 would have 8 times the surface area and 8 times the propellant tank volume requiring roughly eight times as much thrust and making the vehicle eight times as heavy as Starship 1.0. Assuming Starship's successor retains its fineness ratio, an unlikely end result but still interesting to ponder, the vehicle would measure 18 meters in diameter and a terrifying approximate 236 meters tall, literally more than twice as tall as the Saturn V. That is as tall as the Woolworth Building in New York, or three quarters of the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. An 18 meter diameter would also make it the widest rocket ever built. The Saturn V's SIC first stage measuring 10 meters wide, and the Soviet Union's N1 Block A first stage measuring an impressive 17 meters in diameter at its widest point. If the aforementioned assumptions are correct, how much payload can SpaceX's next, next super heavy launch system carry? A very rough estimate would peg Starship 2.0's gross or fueled mass at a gobsmacking 40,000 metric tons. The upgrade for the Starship 2.0 might be able to launch over a thousand tons per launch, and the number of passengers in every batch on Starship 2.0 will also grow to a thousand. That means Musk will be able to attain his Mars targets faster with this Starship. The current Starship can transport about 100 people at once. That would take about 10,000 trips to meet his 1 million colonizer target. However, with the 2.0, Musk can reduce the number of trips required. Starship is now relying on its Raptor engines. SpaceX will use 33 Raptor 2 engines to power the Super Heavy first stage and 6 on the Starship upper stage for initial test flights. If SpaceX were to use the current generation of Raptors to power such a colossal rocket, the booster would need a bare minimum of 100 or more Raptors just to lift off at all. But he also pointed out via Twitter that Raptor 2 has significant improvements in every way, but a complete design overhaul is necessary for the engine that can actually make life multiplanetary. It won't be called Raptor. In other words, SpaceX will launch an engine that is superior to anything before in the future. This engine will be a big step for SpaceX to come close to its ultimate goal, which is to make humans a multiplanetary species. This is all speculation at this point, but of course, like always, we just have to wait and see. And with that, my time is up, and I would like to take this time to thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.